This demonstration will explain how miscellaneous charges are set up for purchasing in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Miscellaneous charges can be thought of as costs above and beyond the price of the material itself. These costs may include freight charges, handling charges, postage, insurance, etc. These can be applied to the header of the purchase order, thus applying these extra charges to the entire order, or they can be associated to specific lines in the purchase order. In addition, you can determine whether miscellaneous charges are applied automatically or manually. Let's explore the setup steps in more detail. Setup of miscellaneous charges is found in the Accounts Payable module under the Setup folder. There are four possible ways to configure the charges. First, establish miscellaneous charge codes. This is most commonly done to apply manual miscellaneous charges onto a purchase order prior to posting the purchase order. Vendor miscellaneous charges are used to establish certain charges that can be applied to specific vendors. There are item miscellaneous charge codes that can be associated to particular items that are line items within a purchase order. Automatic miscellaneous charges are a way to define charges based on a particular vendor item combination when a purchase order is created. In trying to decide on a setup, you should first decide if the charges should be entered manually or happen automatically. If you desire to automate miscellaneous charges, you need to determine whether the trigger is the vendor selected for the purchase order, the item selected for the purchase order, or a combination of both. This decision will drive which of the forms you need to complete. Within the Overview tab of the Miscellaneous Charge Code form, you create a user-defined identification code as well as an accompanying description. Here, you may also associate a specific item sales tax group. By clicking on the Language Text button, you can further define miscellaneous charge code text that is written in specific language specified for the vendor. On the Posting tab, you can define the debit and credit information. Within debit, you must decide whether the charges should be covered by the vendor or applied to the item. The debit posting and debit account fields are used to specify where the expense will be posted. In this example, the charge will be associated to the item. Now let's explore the credit information that needs to be completed on this tab. Within the credit section of the posting tab, we specify where the transactions will be registered. If there are charges on an invoice from the vendor, the credit type will be Customer Vendor and the amount will be posted to the Vendor Summary Report. On the other hand, as in this example, these charges are representative of third-party charges. The company will receive an invoice for the miscellaneous charges and are paid for separately. In this instance, Ledger Account is specified within the Credit Type field. Then the corresponding ledger account type and specific ledger number are specified. Now let's explore the second setup option for miscellaneous charges, Vendor Miscellaneous Charge Groups. Through the use of Vendor Miscellaneous Charge Groups, you can establish a set of charges to be associated to a vendor. As the lower screen shows, you can make the association between a charge group and a vendor directly within the vendor record. Upon creation of a purchase order, the charge group connected to the vendor who owns the purchase order will be automatically transitioned to that purchase order. The third option is to create item miscellaneous charge groups. These groups can then be linked to individual items within the item master. As the lower slide shows, you can make the association between a charge group and the time directly within the item record. Upon creation of the purchase order, the charge group connected to the item will be applied to the purchase order line item. Lastly, there is a fourth option called Auto Miscellaneous Charges. This method will automatically read the combination between vendor and item mix 
and thus assign an automatic miscellaneous charge based upon that combination. The first decision to make is whether automatic charges will be applied against all lines of the order or if the charge will apply to just a single line. If you opt for the level line, you must specify certain item codes in items. If you opt to go with the level main, the item code will need to be set to all, meaning the charge will be applied against all items. On the overview tab, you need to decide whether the vendor selected for the auto charges will be applicable to a single vendor, a group of vendors, or all vendors. Next, you will define those items that are a part of the automatic charge. In the event that the charge is applicable to a certain item or item group, the item relation field will be used to define exactly which one. Let's move on to the lines tab. Begin by defining the currency that will be used when the charge transaction occurs. Next, select which miscellaneous charge code will be used. Now we will decide the category. There are four options. Fixed means that the charges should be calculated as a fixed amount on the line. Pieces equates to a unit-based charge. Percentage will be a certain percentage applied to the line. Intercompany percentage is a percentage on the line as intercompany orders. Next, enter the dollar amount followed by the currency. This currency option is in case you want the miscellaneous charge to be in a different currency than the one specified on the purchase order. Finally, state the applicable sales tax group and then decide whether the charge transaction will be kept after invoicing.